The NYC rental market is in a downward crash right now. New leases are down 23% from 2019 and empty apartments in Manhattan, there are 13,000 of them. Landlords are offering reduced rent. They're trying to give you 1.7 months free just to get someone in their apartments. And that matches my anecdotal experience here in Brooklyn. Uh, if you look around, there is apartments for rent everywhere. The average price for a studio apartment in Brooklyn, Williamsburg particularly, used to be around the $2,200, $2,300 mark. I've seen them advertised for $1,600 now. And not advertised on like Craigslist or a Facebook group. This is in the window of a rental office. Now, this presents a lot of exciting opportunities, but the problem is we don't have the stimulus checks or stimulus money coming to us to be able to qualify or pay, or we don't have a job anymore. But if you do have a job, definitely, and your lease is up, this is the time to look at moving. I think it's only gonna get worse as we get into September and October. And those folks who would be coming here, particularly international students, to come over here uh, for the start of college, don't come. The landlords will get more and more and more desperate. So you might be able to work out some sort of amazing deal. On that note, I'm very lucky. I live in an affordable housing unit, part of the 421A tax abatement um, plan. And I got this through the New York City Housing Connect, the affordable housing lottery, essentially. It's where the rent is uh, pegged to a portion of your income at the time of qualifying. The good and the terrible thing about this is that once you qualify, whatever you are earning then, that's what they peg your rent to. Then it's rent stabilized, so it can only go up by however much the stabilization board wants to put it up every year. Um, but if you but if you earn, let's say, you know, sixty thousand dollars in the year that you apply, so your rent is capped at around twenty thousand dollars. You could earn a million dollars the next year. Your rent will still be twenty thousand dollars. I'm going to do a video on applying for this affordable housing in NYC and how the tips and tricks that I learned and how I got through the whole process. So if you're interested in something like that, leave a comment below and I'll, I'll get on it. To the stimulus talks. So we still do not have a deal and it is frustrating the hell out of me. Trump signed his executive orders on Saturday and since then it's like nothing has been done. Cuomo came out and said the city cannot afford to pay the extra $100. So essentially, it's looking like it's going to be about a $300 plus up from the federal government. But when that money comes, who knows? Um, Steve Mnuchin spoke yesterday and he said that he tried calling Pelosi and she again reiterated her $2 trillion offer. He said no. So talks have just stopped. It's looking like fam, and I'm sorry that to give me the bear of bad news, but I don't think now we're going to have a deal until mid-September. I would love to be proved wrong, but look to mid-September because that is when we're entering early voting and we're also entering debate season and the pressure will be ratcheted up on Donald Trump to get something done. And while I know this isn't a, a Republican only uh, problem that it's not getting through, the sheer fact of it is the guy in charge gets blamed and he wants to win an election. So it looks like probably mid-September. This is, I mean, I, I, I can't even believe that this hasn't been able to go through by now. It's like, I, I you know, it's like I'm having some sort of weird cognitive dissonance and like break. But this is it. This is where we are. We had almost a million people file for new claims for unemployment last week, which is less. I guess it's the, the least as part of the pandemic, but still a fucking crazy number. Um, excuse my French. Um, and they, they're just not doing anything. You know, another big problem with this is as part of this second uh, stimulus bill, the $1,200 checks are nowhere to be seen, but also the support for small business like mine. PPP version one, uh, ended last weekend. They've put up the forgiveness portal, but they keep changing the rules around forgiveness. So no one's applying for forgiveness. So again, now I'm in stasis. Plus I need another one of those to get me through the next six months until I think we can really reopen and get back to business. Again, my business is in, um, Broadway promotions. So my business is shut until live events come back. Lucky me. This is a real, uh, failure of our elected officials. Um, I implore you all to look after yourselves. To that note, there's a few programs that you will definitely qualify for now, one of which being Section 8 housing. Uh, 
If you go to Google and type in Section 8 housing, you should be able to apply because your income will have uh, fallen off a cliff since the $600 um, dropped off. I know it's a long process and things might change before you, before you actually get picked. But the point being, you can start these processes now so that potentially in the future, you, if things don't go well, which I pray that they, they, they do go well, but if they don't, you will already be in the system to get the assistance faster. Because that was the big problem with the start of this pandemic. None of us were in the system. And so assistance was tepid and very slow at best. Um, there's also the food stamps program. Uh, there's a special uh, pandemic uh, food stamps program as well. Run through the same authority. I implore you to apply for that. And Medicare. Definitely get on Medica Medicaid. Rather, Definitely get on Medicaid. Go to your exchange, your Obamacare exchange. Apply. As, and then if you don't qualify, apply the next week. Because they have some weird look back times. But get on that. Um, I will be back in the next couple of days with more updates. I'm, as I said, I'm going to do one of those affordable housing. Like how to navigate the, the affordable housing lottery. Uh, video and some more about like how Brooklyn is doing during this time. It, it, it's it's a magical place, but I worry that you know the heart of my city is is being um, strangled. So sorry to leave you on a, a dark note. Like and subscribe. I'll be back in the next couple of days, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.